What's up everyone? I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this special video. Now before we dive in, let's start with this. Well, what did you guys think? My name is Infamous Trainer and I'm beyond excited to show you guys this new region and more. Pokemon Legends Arceus was amazing and I can't wait for more, but for now we have this story. This adventure takes place before any other Pokemon story. This is Pokemon Legends Celebi. Pokemon Legends Celebi takes place in the Sui Shao region and in this era, Pokemon and people live in total harmonic convergence. But one day, a rogue group of Pokemon emerge from the shadows, threatening to disturb that delicate harmony. And this is where you, the player, will come in, as you join a certain man who created a group called the Hinabi Patrol, and it's your job to capture, study, and research wild Pokemon, and of course, find out the truth behind these shadow Pokemon. Now that you know about the story, let's meet some characters and Pokemon, starting off with you, the player. Now this is Genki and Asui, which takes clear inspiration from Ethan for Genki and Chris for Asui. I think this fits well as we did have similar matchups for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And personally, I can appreciate them going off of Chris instead of Lyra, as it does give her the opportunity to have a really cool ancestor within the region. And I'll also mention I love the designs of both these characters, and I can appreciate them having something that Legend Arceus didn't, and they both have backpacks, which gives it a complete trainer vibe. And I can only imagine the ancestor for characters like Silver, Archer, Morty, and many characters from the Johto region. So I do hope to see some of those characters soon. And speaking about soon, here's a teaser. Now that character that you saw was none other than the ancestor of Janine and Koga, that being Soma. Soma has a badass design and ninja characteristics, and I can't wait for you guys to learn more about this character and many other ancestors in Legend Celebi. Also, if you didn't notice in the background, we have official music for Soma's battle theme, which sounds incredible and very battle ready. This was made by Hacky Official, and link in the description down below to check out his channel. Now next, we have something as important as the characters you play as, and that's the starters. If you can't tell by the silhouette, then it's Turtwig, Torchic, and Froakie. Three fine starters if I say so myself. Just as Legends, once these Pokemon evolved, they would turn into something like their standard evolutions of Grottle, Combusken, and Frogadier. But again, like Legends, they have new evolutions for their final stages. Starting with Grottle, it turns into Torterra and is now a grass and fairy typing. I love the design and a clear inspiration of Japanese culture here. Alongside having the long-awaited cherry blossom design on his back, and I think it looks so good. And I think it works well with this typing to have a nice, tanky grass and fairy type. Then for Combusken, it evolves into Blaziken, now being the long-awaited Fire and Electric type. Now this is something a lot of fans wanted for Score Bunny, well more importantly, Cinderace. Now you know this one is going to pack a punch and be incredibly fast. I hope one day that the Game Freak and Pokemon can make this real. Then last, but not least in the slightest, we have Frogadier, which is evolving into Greninja, now becoming a Water and Fighting type, which is still a type that I do wish Samurai had, but it's totally fine. Nevertheless, this new form of Greninja plays into the ninja and warrior motif, not to mention it's traded in its water kunai for a full-on water sword as it's ready for battle. Now, I actually love all three of these designs, but in this region, I would personally go with Greninja, as the typing is something I've wanted for a while now, but it's not over from there, as we have a whole bunch of new Pokemon I can show you guys right here and now. Starting off with the regional staple, that being Meowth, now becoming a ground type. Design wise, I love it, and not to mention the evolution, being a Persian, is now a ground and psychic type, taking two typings for the first time of being a Persian. The design of Persian is fantastic, and I love the fact that it plays into a Sphinx design. Then from there, we get to see a staple of Johto, being Chinchou, which is now a water and fire type. A very unique typing, and something I love to see. And just as some Pokemon got in Pokemon Legends Arceus, we have a brand new evolution of Chinchou, that being Longchow. This new evolution also sports the water and fire typing, and is a peaceful Pokemon which allows people to ride on them across long stretches of water, similar to our Basque Legion of the region. Speaking of new evolutions, we have one for Buffalon, this being Fliffalon, a normal and fairy type. This new evolution stems from the use of a patchwork quilt. The care put into the quilt impacted the hearts of wild Buffalon. Due to its gratitude towards the quilt, it has now gained the fairy typing and has lost its attitude that it once had. Then from there we have Litleo, 
which is now sporting the Fire and Ice type. These Litleo are very curious Pokemon that took on opponents twice their size without fear of anything. So definitely a lot stronger than our Kalos variant. But this Pokemon does have a new evolution, that being Leo Nitro, which is also having the Fire and Ice type. These Pokemon are highly protective of their young, so be careful how you approach them. From here we have some Kanto staples, such as Lapras, which is now an aggressive Pokemon and also having the Rock and Ice type. Just be sure to be careful around this Pokemon. And also a new form of Staryu, that being Staryukin, a Steel and Psychic type. Definitely caught me off guard as I thought this would still retain water, but it doesn't. And we cannot forget about the Kanto Pseudo Legendary, that being Dragonite, having a new design that fits more alongside Dratini in Dragonair. And there is even some unique Pokemon, such as Wishy Washy, which is now a bug in Dark type, and of course has a bugged school form. And lastly, from Hoenn are three Pokemon that definitely got a nice change, and that being Slackoff, now becoming a ground and fighting type. Very aggressive, and of course, it becomes even more aggressive in its evolution, as we have Vigoroth also having the ground and fighting typing. And the most aggressive of them all are the brand new evolution, Siwaroth, the ground and fighting type, and let me tell you, this Pokemon is nothing to play around with. And lastly, we have a new form of Altaria, now becoming a flying fairy type, which I feel is very fitting for this Pokemon. Oh, and before I forgot, it looks like Eevee got a brand new evolution. That being Draconion, the dragon type Eevee. Now this is the long lost evolution of Eevee. It's evolved using a new item called a Draco Stone. Many have searched far and wide for this item, but no one has found it in recent history. But if you find it, you can have this new evolution on your team. From there we dive into more lore of the Johto legends, such as meeting the legendary dogs of N, Ray, and Sue. Then learning more about these Pokemon caught in the big fire, as this legend is told all throughout Johto in the current games. Not to mention we get to see familiar faces of Pokemon that we know, such as Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and of course Lugia. There is much story here that we can unfold. I can definitely say this is a region that I'm excited to explore more, and I can't wait to see more artwork, see more ancestors, and many other things. Not to mention, Johto is my least favorited region, and I do not really like Heart Gold and Soul Silver, so something like this actually gets me very excited and it could just change my mind on the entire region of Johto as a whole. Now I don't hate Johto, but it's just not my favorite. And simply based off these Pokemon, I could tell you I would have a pretty cool team, as I definitely would pick up Greninja, the new Dragon Evolution, that new Dragonite, and many others in this region as well. And I just really can't wait to see more. That being said, be sure to support the official Instagram account and everyone involved on the project from directors, artists, animators, and more with the links in the description down below for you guys. I'll also be following this project closely and I hope to make more content about this in the future, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and never miss a video, whether it's Fakemon, Pokemon anime or more. And in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think of the region so far. Do any of these Pokemon really get you excited? Let me know in the comments, I love to talk about it with you guys. With that all being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video, thank you guys all for watching, and uh, bye!